Hello everybody and welcome to the, uh, sadly the only chassis uh, series vid I can make of the Nightstar currently, which is the 9FC variant. Uh, the reason I say only one is because despite the fact that there is actually a 9S, it's not quite the 9SS, which is the version that's supposed to have an Ultra AC20 and an LD20, except PGI don't do critical space splitting between arms and side torsos, so you can't fit an LV-20 onto a arm of a Nightstar. Kind of sucks, I know. I really wish we could have had that version, uh, but there's no point in me showing you a video of, of a dual Ultra AC-20 version because an LV-20 plays in a totally different way compared to an Ultra AC. Anyway, that side, the 9FC. This was a modification of the Nightstar, by the, again by the Federated Commonwealth. Uh, the idea was to create something that was more in line with the mobile warfare doctrines of both House Steiner and Davian. And to this end, it basically, it strips the two Gauss rifles out of the arms and replaced them with LB-10s and messed around with the energy weaponry to give you um, keeping the ERPPC but changing the lasers all to medium lasers. So you got three medium lasers and with some of the extra weight that was saved, they increased the engine size. So you had a faster night star that runs at a base of 64 kph, so it was about as fast as a you know your average heavy, which is pretty good when you consider a 95 ton assault. That still brings a pretty decent punch to dual LB20s and ERPPC, and uh, those medium lasers for backup makes it quite uh, a powerful mech. And you know fast assaults uh, with good weapons loadouts are few and far between. So yeah, the night uh, the night star 9FC is pretty good in that respect. Now obviously, in terms of MechRoy Online, this is a slight change from the 9S, uh, sorry not the 9, 9J, um, essentially t by sacrificing one of its energy hardpoints to 5, it gains the ability to take an XL standard or light fusion engine 400, it comes with an XL380 standard, uh, which means your speed can be a lot higher. Uh, yeah, but uh, it, it has the same number of ballistics, that's right, I'm uh, just looking at Smurf here, just to double check this stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's it's 5 energy compared to 6 with the same 2 ballistics. So you're not losing a lot really, so for a much bigger engine that can propel your Nightstar across the battlefield a bit quicker, it's not too bad. Higher engine ratings uh, are always a nice thing, uh, especially if you don't mind taking something, because I've seen assaults that obviously don't focus on really heavy weaponry, obviously some, some players can play assaults with uh, a, a focus more on lighter weaponry, but being able to get in closer, quicker, at, especially like maximum armor with a really big engine. And uh, probably the biggest detraction of the Night Star is the fact that it comes with XL engines, and given the shape of the mech, it's a lot easier to hit their side torsos. So, a bit like uh, running maulers with XL engines, I've had the people typing in caps LOL with that. But obviously for a lot of assaults, XL engines were kind of this godsend um, within the, the realm of the tabletop and in-universe because wow, it's all this weight that can be saved and we can put all these weapons and stuff on there. Mecha Online, because of alpha striking, uh, those kind of things aren't as desirable, obviously. So a lot of people will probably want to, and yourself, whoever's watching this, you may want to obviously remove your XL engine okay, out of your Night Star and maybe focus on a light fusion if you can fit it around the build you want, or possibly even just a standard if you don't mind the obviously that the higher weight incurred uh, to prevent yourself from popping from a side torso. Personally, for me, okay, I've not had too many matches where the side torso is the first thing to go. Usually, it's the CT on the mech, and if I do die, it's usually at a point where I'm being hit by so many mechs anyway. Once the side torso is gone, I wasn't going to live much longer anyway. If I did have a standard or a light fusion, so it's not been it's not been a big issue for me. But then again, I guess my playstyle is I'm not as I'm not as frontline sort of face tanking people as as much as some people because obviously my builds are very different. And to talk about this match, what a godsend. Um, I, I can only assume that uh, Adam Grayson in, in the Hunchback that ran out on its own must have been a disconnect or something, he must have crashed out because the Hunchback just it just goes out there. And unfortunately, he, he very quickly becomes focused and dies. And I think a chunk of the team had followed into the area behind those um, canisters, the uh, the uh, liquid... Uh, is it, uh, I assume the li are they liquid... 
gas canisters, those ones? I forget. But um, yeah, there's a bunch of mechs behind those, and they're trapped because there's LRM mechs shooting at them, and they, they can't obviously poke out because myself and others are up on higher ground waiting for them to show their faces. It, the whole match was just a, a slow, horrible slaughter. And uh, it's, it's one of those sad matches in Mech Warrior Online, although it's, it's obviously it's nice to have a win. I always feel that it's it's one of those events that will put people off playing a game if these kind of matches happen too often to them. Uh, because nobody wants to play a game where it's not close or it's not a good fight or you don't feel like it could have it could have turned at any moment. So I felt sorry for them on that. But anyway, um, this version of the Night Star I do quite like. Uh, I do like the higher speed. And I do, uh, for me, I'm not as good with Gauss Rifles. I always end up sort of pulling the shot, so I end up missing more often than not when hitting with Gauss Rifles. I, I try to overcompensate for the, the movement of targets. So I end up missing a lot more with Gauss Rifles. So for me, this actually, this build works better because dual LB10s are quite nice, uh, combined with um, the relatively low heat triple energy weapons there. And the PPC is always good for sniping. I, I like PPCs. So I would actually, personally for me, I'd recommend this over the standard Night Star. But then, the main difference is literally one energy hard point between the two official variants. Obviously there are other made up variants of the Night Star, and you do have the S, which is almost, almost the 9SS version. Uh, which is dual Ultra AC-20s instead, which uh, has jump jets and all the rest of it. It's supposed to be based on a Solaris build. Um, if if PGI ever add a way of being able to do it with the LB20, obviously I will build it and I'll make a video about it, but um, sadly at the moment I, I just don't see the point of me taking the 9S out with, with an L, without an LB20. No, oh, excuse me, without an LB20 because there's just there's no point. Uh, I won't be able to do, um, won't be able to play it the way, it's meant to, uh, the way it was originally intended to be played. Um, because LB20s are a totally different playstyle. You lead targets, you try to get the cone of fire as minimal as possible. You know, the, the rate of fire is different from an Ultra AC20. It, there's a lot of factors, and yeah, it's it's kind of annoying, but what can you do when, uh, when PGI haven't allowed you to uh, have that kind of build? So, real shame. But anyway, yeah, the 9FC is uh, really good. Uh, I really, I quite, I actually quite like this one a lot more than the uh, than the standard uh, Nightstar, the 9J, I think it is. Um, but then, if you're more into your sniping, you're gonna like the 9J anyway. Um, decent, same ha same mounts for the ballistics. I mean, it's virtually no different, obviously, with the arm positioning and stuff. This just has better speed potential. So it's whether you want more speed over. Um, slightly, the potential for slightly more firepower is literally the difference. So if you like the Night Star, both are going to be great, all of them are going to be good. And if you don't like the Night Star, this probably isn't going to make a huge amount of difference for you. So uh, I'll leave you with that one. As you can see, that was a bit of a crushing uh, victory uh, for me. It's just rare that I'm on those matches when I am. I always feel bad for the team. So uh, have a good week, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you uh, next time. Bye.